What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're down here at Thunder Valley Dragway. We're drag racing today. We've got radios on the car. We're in a free entry $5,000. There are some bears out here. Shannon and his whole crew's out here. Uh, T Wayne will be here later with their three or four cars. Uh, lots of fast cars. Lots of fast cars. We're kind of outgunned. It is what it is. I know we got a big block. I know we got a turbo. We've got potential to go fast. But right now, we are still struggling with our converter. We still got our Hughes converter in here. It's doing good, don't get me wrong. We need the Circle D converter to be installed in order to make this thing work better. Uh, hopefully I'll have the Circle D next week, but then I gotta, I gotta think, I gotta decide. NPK is coming up next weekend. The Circle D would for sure be better there. But the weekend after that, we're gonna be at 17 Dragway at the back of the track doing a big digger die race. 65 cars would be like $20,000 purse. Uh, the Circle D with no testing on it or just one week's worth of testing. We might be better off leaving the Hughes. We got some thinking to do for that one. But once I put the Circle D in it, I'm not pulling it back out. I just need to make some laps in it and see how it goes. All right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. If y'all have not already subscribed, if you'll hit that subscription button, please. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's free, and you get to keep up with our big block Chevrolet with a single turbo. Appreciate it, guys. All right, there goes Shannon and his crew over here. They've got one car, two cars, three cars. They got four cars today. I don't know if they're all entering in the same class or not. Chase is going up there now. Uh, Shannon just made a lick a minute ago. It ran pretty doggone fast, but, uh, you know, it's on radials, of course. Uh, oh, there's Anthony Lamb. He's got his car out here, too. Uh, I don't know if y'all know Anthony. It's cool to see him back out. So we got all our crew guys out here. Uh, Randy, Brandon, Milton. Uh, Chase is here as well somewhere, so he's up there. Uh, Brandon's son come to hang out today and help. So, uh, yeah, that is... Anthony's car. That thing is really nice. It turned out pretty good. All right, let's see. Kenny Wins coming up. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to roll up for our first shake down. He did today, son. Everybody else is getting down there. I got some experience on radials, uh, so we'll see how it goes. Here we go.
All right, guys. Well, that's personal best for for the car. But so the radials picked it up. There you go. That is a back to back comparison. Two weekends. So uh, of course we knew they were going to pick up some. The car felt real sporty. Uh, it felt really good. Uh, see the little wrinkles on it. No. Uh, now that we got radials on it though we should be able to get after it a lot harder early and you know the slicks you just can't go but so fast i know some people were going really fast with them but uh here we go guys if you swap from a slick to a pro bracket radial and the 275 radial is supposed to be a little bit faster than this one but that that is that is a direct comparison so about a half a tenth uh maybe a tenth i was thinking it was gonna be a little bit more than that but there you go all right guys a couple things happened on that run i did a little teeny pedal right here uh, this is shock data in the back, so it did separate about four inches. So I think we're pretty close on that. Um, these little couple dips right here, but then it lean popped. But something that is pretty good information. That's where I cut gas. If you look, I actually let off the gas at 4.38 seconds. I revised my previous statement. The Probably the slicks to the radials with no tune on a nice solid pass with probably a tenth difference. All right, guys, it looks like we're going to probably try to get make one more shakedown. Uh, sun will be going down here in a minute. Uh, track is pretty good, though. We didn't go, but like I said, 120, 60 foot. So we're going to try to get after it, go a little bit faster early. Uh, we did have a lean pop out there. For some reason, it was rich. So um, I'm going to lean to tune up just a little bit. We were targeting 3.4 air fuel ratio, 3.45, and it was right on it. Uh, almost 27 pounds of boost. So I think we might have just blowed the spark out. Sometime... Sometimes if it's too rich, it'll it'll pop, lean pop, or backfire, and that's what it did. It was a lean pop. Fuel pressure looked good, but it didn't come right back down, and then it was rich. So I'm thinking we might have been over-fueling it just a tad. We might still be under-timed on this thing a little bit, but we're not ready to put a lot of timing in it just because we ain't got a converter really tugging, tugging really hard. So we're going to go up there now and see if we can make us a... Uh, 60 foot hit, 330 pass. Well, actually, we're gonna try to go to 330. We're gonna try to make a 330 pass and see if we can go any faster there. Hang on.
does a half track pass, but oh my gosh, that felt, that felt fast guys. Like really fast. I don't know what it did early, but it took it and it freaking went. The back of the car come up and that felt good. That was a, I think that was a pretty good pass. I think. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, we got a personal best uh, to the 330. We didn't get a full ticket, so I'm going to share it with y'all. This will be the last. We're going in the next round, so I'm not going to be able to share anything with y'all. We'll share some fast cars out here. 304 to the half track. I run it just past half track. Uh, that's all the plan was. That felt like probably a 112, 114, 116, 60 foot. So we're going to pull the dialogue real fast. We're going into first round right now in a minute. 304 to the half track, guys. That is... Uh, last pass that is eight tenths faster than the last pass um, and man it accelerated hard that stuff that's the that's the fastest i've been to the half track in a very long time very long time this fastest ever for this car so that's personal best to the 330 by long ways all right here we go hang on all right guys here we go shake down Number three, car is not hot. We're gonna go another half track pass. Uh, see what happens. Y'all good? No.
was a good pass too. We don't run it to half track again. That felt really good. Really, really, really good. Heck yeah. Let's go, baby. All right, guys. So since we did get another test pass, I'm gonna show you this one too. I uh, I can't show no more after this one. 114.9303, let off again at half track. So that's not terrible. We're gonna have to go faster though. I mean, it's, it's good though. So I'm not ha unhappy with it. So uh, we're pulling the dad log now, see what it actually ran. Uh, we're going into the next round. First round is coming up. Uh, shoot, we should be doing chip draw anytime now. What time is it? 33 already. Okay, well, they're supposed to be doing chip draw right now. Okay. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching the whole video. If y'all made it this far, that was a heck of a successful day for drag radials. First time the car's been on drag radials. Chase came out, hang out with us, done some filming pretty awesome we had a great day so we got a personal best with the car that's always fun luckily we got to make some good passes i think we're going to be in good shape i appreciate it guys comment like and subscribe we'll see y'all soon later